Hello friends, in this video we are learning new feature of the C sharp 6. Using static qualifier, string interpolation, null condition operator, auto property initializer, expression bodies function and properties, dictionary initializer, name of expression, exception filter, await in catch and final blocks. So those feature are we are cover in this video. So let's start with uh, using static qualifier. So previously we are write console.write line. Now in C sharp 6 you can directly write using st using static directives directly function you can access the any of the static class. Just simple add the using static system.console. Then after write you can directly write line function without any console.write line. So it's very easily you can access any of the static and enum also enum supported the day of week is enum type so you can directly access the any of the static and enum type of the class let's run it you can see the output of the both are same so using static directives you can easily directly access any of the static func function the next feature is the string interpolation before C, C sharp 6 we are writing string dot format now it's totally different way you can write just simplify this format put the dollar sign then after whatever you are, you are string write then after you any of the variable you want to write append in this uh, line just put the curly brackets after and before close and uh, open and close brackets of the curly brackets put the variable name and any kind of you can add the any of the variable you can add that so that way you can write and format the this string let's see the output of the code you can see here the my name is Raj Patel and the current date and time I am here right like so it's very easily you can write to put put the dollar sign before you start the string and any of the variable just put the curly brackets before and after uh, of that uh, variable so that way you can simply uh, string uh, format in uh, C sharp 6 the next feature is the null condition operator so we have any time mm -hmm need to check the condition where it is null or not then after if it is null then this execute otherwise this execute so it's a very difficult in uh, previously now in C++ very easily you can write that so let's see the previously we have write uh, this way address is, is equal to null then this print otherwise address uh, actual address is print now in C sub 6 it's very easy way you can uh, print this address then after is the one question mark that question mark is check whether is uh, null or not if it is not null then it's a print real address otherwise is uh, leave this or I'm extra added the two condition uh, two question mark for the if null then the exi uh, address is not available uh, put here so let's execute the code and check the output the output is same so it's very easily very easily you can write with the question and dot operator you can check the null condition easy way you don't need to extra condition put over here the next feature is the auto property initializer so previously what happened we are every property we are initialize with the constructor like uh, you can see the before 6 we are write the this way address with the home address is uh, delay and the office address with the like that way you can uh, define 
so now in C sharp 6 is very easy you can di directly property initialize using di is equal to statement directly you can uh, define the default uh, value so that way you can uh, directly define a value let's see the output you can see directly Delhi and new Delhi office address uh, see default uh, value over uh, here I'm just uh, new using new operator make a uh, initialize this class and directly give an output me the next feature is the expression body functions so previously we are write the class with the add and multiple multiply function with the return statement just only single statement so in the C sharp 6 you can using lambda expression you can direct the return without any return statement you can uh, return uh, uh, value just a single line uh, of the return statement you can see here that I am calculate class initialize then the calculation and add then multiply function call so directly with using lambda expression you can return the statement let's see the output you can see here the output show here so that way you can uh, manipulate your code using uh, lambda expression exp uh, body return the statement the next feature is the dictionary initialization you here see the before C sharp 6 you can write uh, this way syntax now in C sharp 6 there is a different way syntax with the key and pair value you just place the key between two square brackets and the set the value of the that key using is equal to statement then the value so the syntax is very clear before before you are uh, use the C sharp now it's very clear where the key and pair value on key and pair value of, of the dic uh, dictionary the next feature is the name of expression so basically when you sometime very hard coded the string put uh, or uh, output the name is equal to this and id is equal to this and salary is, is equal to this in C sub 6 is very cool new feature using name of the expression using you can uh, take a name uh, take the name of the properties and that properties is a given output as a string so just given id return name return and salary return as a string for as a string not the value actually value so let's see the output you can see here the id name and salary is a print here basically these are the string of the properties so using string expression many of time you remove the your hard coded uh, string name is equal to this and salary is equal to this so it's a very cool feature the next feature is the accept exception filtering so basically what happened previously you catch only one catch block with a single exception and uh, you just uh, every time uh, write if message is this and this 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 and then this execute now in C sharp 6 very clearly e given this feature so you can see here I am take one random number between the 400 and uh, fourth 404 405 it's a generate exception number and the catch block is uh, catch that exception with the condition when the messages this this and this so let's uh, execute the code and output see here oh should I need to change the exception filter over here exception filter let's execute here so it's given a 400 401 and so uh, this block is execute so you you can separate each and every block particular uh, condition 
when condition meet and then this block is executed so it's a very easy and cool feature in uh, C sharp 6 the next feature is await in a catch and final block now in C sharp 6 you can a synchronized method inside the catch and final block you can write that you can see here I just add the one match my match class with uh, synchronize and wait wait uh, functions now I'm a divide by zero and the exception in exception handling with the wait function and uh, in this function I'm right line with the with the message let's uh, run this code you can see here the method from a synchronized catch method this method is a synchronized catch method is block he, uh, call here then after then after is the final final method call so you can you can a synchronize with await method you can uh, write in the try catch block in C sharp 6 I hope this I hope you are enjoyed this video you can download this code from github thank you